Hey there, this is Jim from 1-800-OLD-TOYS. I just was at a person's house and I picked up a lot of toys. They're in here among a lot of other things, uh, my tools, and I'm gonna show you how disorganized it could be if you're actually experienced at buying collections. Um, these are what you could see on the top, but there's a lot more here, and I'm going to try to take them out and organize them a little bit, because it's going to rain, and I don't want to have to do it later on. So here, we have a nice uh, mongoose and snake drag race set. It has one of the cars and all of the track and the accessories. The box is in great shape. I'm gonna to try to find the decals and figure out how to save the box from any further deterioration. But it's a great graphic. It's great item for your collection. I'm gonna find a good home for it and um, happy to pass it on. Here is a, uh, a Tonka sanitary system garbage truck. It is in really, really good condition. I mean, considering the age, um, I really am happy that I was able to find this in, in, in the collection. Has a little bit of instructions here. I haven't had a chance to look at it. And down here behind it, that fell out of the bed, is a decal. And I think these might be decals to the um, Hot Wheels snake and mongoose set. So that's a good reason not to throw anything out, no matter what it looks like. Even if it has nothing to do with toys, you never know what it's gonna be until you really find out. Here's a really beautiful steak truck. I don't know if that's the model with the removable bed. And I guess I could look and yes, it looks like it is the model with the removable bed. See that ring of steel back there? This is a really nice truck. This is in really good condition. This is probably, I believe it's late 50s, but it's really, really excellent condition. It's got the original green um, stakes. It's being a steak truck, it's got a nice bumper. So these three items I'm gonna leave in the front because they're really easy to take out and probably very valuable. Um, and I don't wanna try to you know, handle them with one hand. So let's go, let's go over here. This is a Pioneer Express. It's really a children's ride-on toy. It's complete, a little dirty, some banged up, but it's still really nice. It would make a great gift. Um, it would provide excellent pictures that uh, would uh, be enjoyed for a lifetime. And that's one of the reasons why I decided to pick up uh, this collection of large ride-on toys. Now, here we have another ride-on toys. This has got beautiful blue seat, steering wheel. Let's see if this siren works. Oh, it's gonna need a little... Ooh. It's gonna need a little oil. I'm sure that's all it needs. It's got a nice big yellow bumper and it's heavy. This thing is heavy. This thing is so heavy, it's even hard for me to pick it up. And that might be a good thing for children because you don't want them picking this thing up and dropping it on their foot. So heavy might be good. Steering wheel works, I love it. The red, green, and blue, really handsome toy. Look at that. Let's go back here and see what else we got. Oh, here's one. Here's another ride-on toy. This is a deluxe delivery with a nice seat on it. Has a tailgate, little handle for steering. Look at that bumper. That is a handsome bumper. It's a little discolored here on the bottom left, uh, bottom right, but look at that. What a handsome model. What a great toy this was for a child. It doesn't look like a child ever used it. I'm told that a lot of these vehicles came out of the, uh, an old five and 10 store. 
and that's why they're they're they were in the basement and that's why they look so good so here it's got the original tailgate look how easily that fell off when i brought it down here into this into this car it's amazing that it's still here and it's uh it's a wonderful smaller ride-on toy but just as enjoyable and just as exciting to find in its original condition let's see what else we got here oh here's another one oh this has ladders i don't want these ladders to hit the ground because i don't want them to get scratched up these boxes oops there we go took the ladders off so they don't get damaged these are really nice. Look at them. They're not banged up. Nobody's been hitting anybody with them or banging on metal. Let me lift this out carefully. Oh, it's heavy. Here we go. Oh, look at this. This is something else. This is a fire truck. Look at the fine detail. I'm guessing this is a 50s fire truck. Who knows what it had back there or if that was for manufacturing. It doesn't look like there's any marks, but you could see how the paint is all intact. There's some, there's some, you know, discoloration up here. I'm not sure if that is surface rush, a rush a rust or abrasion, but certainly um, it's fortunate that we still have the light. Well, we have a light. <laughs> we just don't have the lens. Look at a grill on that. Imagine coming down the carpet towards your brother with this big fire truck and the light on at night. And this is really, really beautiful. This is a Lewis Marks, a Lewis Marks toy. Really, really nice. I'm gonna try to put that over here, but it doesn't look like I'll be able to fit it in without hitting another truck. So I'm gonna temporarily Put it here and i don't mind if i scratch the bmw because it's already scratched look at that that's a beautiful scene boy oh boy let's go over here oh let's make sure we get the ladders okay let's see what else we can find let's see what can we find in here oh here's a structo this looks like a road grader Look at the condition of this thing. These tires, I've never seen concrete in my opinion. It's never scraped soil. It's been probably rolled around on a carpet. It's got a nice decal, nice decals up front. Still has a smokestack. It's a really nice toy. It's got a little surface um, uh, imperfections, but I think that's expected with toys this age. To find one in better condition, you'll probably have to find it in a box and pay a fortune. But this is really nice. Look at this little, little, little wheel here. What does it do? This little wheel, I'm not gonna try to actuate the wheel, but it looks as though it operates the door. Wow. All intact, all original, just a nice model. We're gonna put that, where are we gonna put that? We're gonna shut this door and put it back here. <clears throat> there it is, found a new home. Let's see what else we got here. It's getting late, it's gonna rain soon. Here's a Structo trailer, not in great condition. Still, nothing that you want anyone to throw out because it's still a toy and we like to save toys right All right right let's see what else we got here there's a lot more i just have to find it without oh there is a beautiful fire engine look at the sheen on this what a ride toy fire department number 26 pumper look at a beautiful wheels Look at how handsome this truck is. This is a beautiful example of quality manufacturing by Structo. This is a beautiful Structo pumper. Oh, look at this. Let's see. Do you think it works? Yeah. 
that works. I would imagine little Johnny wouldn't be able to hit, turn it that quickly as I could, but it works and it is in perfect condition. Just some blemishes right here uh, past the dash, but that's it. And this is wonderful. I don't know what's in here, but it was on the truck. It could be a bell. We'll have to look at that later because right now I gotta get this into the other car. On the other side. I'll put this in here. This way I know it's out of the way. No one's gonna damage it. Put this down here. There you go. All right, I'm gonna shut this door for now. Yeah, I'll leave it open. Look at this, so far we have a lot of nice trucks. Let's see what's over here. Oh, there's more. There's a lot more up front. We'll get to it. Here is another Structo rock truck. Same as the other, same condition, ready for work. I'll put that over here. See what else we got back here. We got tools. Oh yeah, here's another Structo trailer. This one's got the doors. This would make a handsome addition to anybody's collection. Here's the nice side. Thankfully, there's a really nice side on this and this could be used if we could just find the tractor or even to stand next to other Structo trailers. Put this over here. Let's see what else we got back here. I may have to go up front. Oh, look at that. We have other toys, anything. Oh, here we go. Look at the finish on this. Ah, oh, this is a Buddy L repair it service truck. Now, this I believe um, came with a, 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 a tow assembly here that, um, that they reproduce. It's in great shape. Um, the hood is a little marked up. I don't know if that's because of, you know, storage or um, playwear, but in any case, it's got a beautiful label, nice wheels, really a handsome model, make a great addition to anybody's collection. Just look how that would look on a shelf. That's really nice. It's big too. It's not like a Tonka. It's got some, some weight to it as well. So this one, We're gonna put on the floor in the front seat. There we go. Look at that. We're gonna have this. I'm gonna double the value of this car by putting all these toys in. <laughs> Let's see what else we got here. This might be it for back here, but this is what it's like when you get a collection, you gotta stick it in your car, and you gotta go because sometimes you don't have time to sit around and decide what you want. What you should leave behind, you just take it all because you never know what you're gonna find. So let me shut this back. Let's go over here. Okay, here we have an unbreakable steak truck. Let's see, this is by Eldon. It's unbreakable. Oh, but this is not a steak truck. What is this? Oh, this is an ideal fix-it tow truck. Look at that beautiful thing. It's got the windshield screen intact. It's really clean. Doesn't look like it's ever been played with. Nice pink labels. Amer Automobile Play Association. I didn't know one existed. This is really nice. We're gonna bring this over to the car and stick it right on this rock truck, carefully. Okay, let's go back. Bring this Elden box with us in a second. Put it up, oh, what's in here? Oh, look at that. There is stuff in here. I don't know if it goes. Well, that goes with, so here we have some pieces. So this is another reason why, even if you see boxes with no associated trucks in a collection, Boxes could be worth some money, but you gotta look in the boxes. 
you never know what you're gonna find. So there's pieces to this truck, including the part to this light and maybe a bell. I don't know, but it could be a bell for one of the fire trucks. We'll have to figure that out later in a future video. Let's see what else is in here. Oh, here's something. Oh, this is nice. This is an emergency searchlight unit. Permit number 265. I believe this is a Lewis Marks toy. Has the instructions. And it looks like, looks like this bag has never been opened. I think this bag might go with the, uh, let's, let's go with this truck. Instruction for assembling Buddy L 5545 searchlight truck. Look at that, a sealed bag. All the tools, spare parts. I don't get it. I don't know why these wheels are in there, but we'll figure it out. Why would an emergency searchlight unit need all this? We'll just have to see. In a later video, let me bring this around over to the front. Put it down here. Boy, I'm trying to sell this BMW. It's not going to be hard. The gentleman looked at it yesterday. He just wants to double check. And if he comes back and sees all these toys in there, I don't know if he's going to be upset or negotiate to keep the toys in the car for him to buy it. Here is uh, another um, Pioneer Express. The grill's in there. Unfortunately, um, it's got a bad side to it. So this, uh, although it is an old toy, um, it does have the red straps across the ta tank, has a few of the um, plastic and uh, wheels and some of the decorations. So I didn't want to discard it. I thought maybe, you know, even the rails um, could be useful to someone. I have to check. I think there's another one that we already, yeah, it's in the back. So there might be parts that I could use from that vehicle on this vehicle that's in much better shape. Let's get over here and see. Oh, here's a really nice clean. This, I don't know, this is a Structo rocker. Now I have the motor and I have the cover. It's somewhere, I don't know exactly where it is, but let's put this over here and take a look at what's in this box. Oh, this is nice. This is a Marks tractor. Beautiful front end on it. Let's sit this over here. Oh, here's a really nice tractor. This probably goes with some of the other, oh, look at that. I think it goes with this box. Let's see. Here we have in the box Oh boy, a milk truck. I'm not gonna take this out right now, but I will in a future video. Look at how fresh and clean that is. I see the instructions in there and who knows what else we're gonna find. Let me sit that carefully over here. Here we have two Volvo police cruisers, one here and one here. These are wind up with two-tone siren. Can't wait to try them. Here's a nice tractor. I gotta believe that this thing is a battery op and it looks like it's made by Lewis Marks. Hopefully there's nothing in the battery compartment. I don't know where that is right now, but I think it's close by. We'll take a look at this later as well. So I'm gonna put that over here. <clears throat> here is a nice home dairy delivery truck. This is also made by Lewis Marks. This is a very nice model. It doesn't seem like it was ever used. These were simply made and Lewis Marks capitalized on the fact that people not only wanted expensive toys, but there were more people who wanted inexpensive toys. Now here's a part to a car. Hmm, I wonder where the rest of the car is. Let me put that over here. And here is a Marks military personnel carrier. It's got the top. It's a little dirty, but look at it. Really nice, really good display piece. Very happy with this uh, 
with this vehicle as well. Oh, look what we got over there, a missile launcher. Let me see. Let's go back to what's inside this box here. I don't know exactly what this is too, but I certainly don't want to lose it. I'm glad that I put everything I could find in the box, no matter uh, whether or not I knew what it went to. I'm going to put that right back there. There's a plastic bag. Who knows? That might be an original plastic bag. Only kidding. I'm going to put this box over here. I'm running out of time, but let me keep on going through this because there's a lot of more toys here. So here we go. Throw this cardboard out of here. Ah, here's a really nice Structo cab. And it looks like here is the trailer. It's an auto transport. It's a beautiful, beautiful set. Look at that. Really nice. Let me get this into a, into a box because I don't want it to get damaged. You know, these things, um, if they're in like new condition, they're worth so much more. Or another way of saying it, they're so much more desirable. So I want to be careful when I put things um, next to each other that I don't bang them like that. <laughs> oh, here we have some really nice sand loaders, sand conveyor. This is a Buddy L. Beautiful, beautiful white, red. Really nice condition. Nice shelf toy. Definitely someone is looking for this. Here's another one. Buddy L portable scoop and load in green. The old tires, really nice. Still has, both of them still have the original strings, which is very hard to find. Let's see. Oh, wow. Here's, I don't know, probably a hundred matchbox in here. Now, usually the Moco Lesnies or the early matchboxes are much more desirable, but these are still valuable. Even if I sold these for 500 bucks each, if there was a hundred in here, that's $500. So this is a very, very good box of matchbox and certainly don't want to get this wet or damage it, but I'm going to place this in here because I want to be careful that uh, the toys don't tip over and um, damage each other. So I'm going to go around to the other side. This is Jim from 1-800-OLD-TOYS. If you have any old toys that you'd like me to take a look at, so you can mail, uh, email them, email pictures to um, oldtoys at yahoo.com. Let's see. This is an Andy Guard Poly Play Unbreakable polyur Polyethylene Pumper Fire Engine. Real water pump hose. Oh, that doesn't look like a fire engine. This looks like something really delicate. Oh, there's two things in there that are really delicate. Boy, this is really nice. This is a plastic model. Oh, it looks like it's something to do with fixing. So this might be an accessory or part of, um, let's see, Ideal Toy Corp. This is really nice, and I got two of them. Let's see the other one. The other one's pink with a blue top. That's fancy. Wow. Very simply made, same mold but only different colors. I wonder if this came in a set. Both of the tops are gray, but the bottoms are different. It could be that the bottom on the lighter one was subjected to sun and became dull. I don't know, but I'll figure that out later because right now I wanna show you what else is in here. We know about this box. This is a really nice box. I'm gonna put it here because I wanna put it in the car later on. Ah, look at these. This is a deluxe auto transport. And it's got the rails inside, and I think there's more in the floor. So we have this one, which is beautiful. And we have this one. Wow. But where are the cabs? All right, here's a car. I don't think this goes with it. Here's a car. That might go with it. And here's a car and there's three more rails in there so I think I think it's safe to say that we have the rails and we have 
cars for one of the transporters, but I don't know where the cabs are. I'm not gonna get upset right now because I'm sure they're around somewhere. Let's put this in top of the car and then we'll get, get back to them as soon as we find the cabs. Oh, here, this might be one of the cabs. I'm not sure. Looks a little big to be a cab for these transporters. I could be wrong, but this is a matching color and the wheels are different. So I doubt this has anything to do with this set. So I'm gonna put this in this box over here. We're gonna find out where that goes later. Oh, and here's another one of the fix-it tow trucks. This one looks like it's in poor condition, but it has a lot of accessories still attached to it and could be valuable if it's cleaned up properly. I'm gonna put this one right over here because I don't want to lose it, um, um, move it out of the car and, and, and just uh, for the purposes of making room here because it looks like I have enough room here. And this is a guided missile carrier. I once had these, one of these, and I was unable to find the rocket. When I saw this one, it is absolutely mint. It is, it is an exciting toy. Someone bought this, took this out of the box, and said, you know what, I'm putting it on the shelf. Now, I don't know if it's missing a nose cone here, but I'm very pleased that this has not been played with, and it's just in beautiful condition. What a difference it makes to have a beautiful example of a toy that was made, I don't know, maybe 50, 60 years ago. Well, that's it for now. This is Jim from 1-800-OLD-TOYS. If you have questions about toys that you own, you could send me a picture to oldtoys at yahoo.com. Until next time, happy hunting.